Welcome to Primo Trail Sales and a first look inside a brand new 39 MKTS in Coachman's Catalina Destination Series. This is just a wonderful front kitchen design that gives you the ability to have guests and give them their own space or create a bit of a games room, uh, room to do some hobbies, even potentially and a little office if you needed it. As we come in our main patio door here just off to the right, we've got all centrally located our main switches here for slide outs. Uh, for our monitor panel to see how full our tanks are. We've got our exterior power awning switch, our propane hot water tank switch. So most of the things we're going to use right when we come in that door are right there. We do have a great 12 volt ceiling fan here in the main area and we have an additional one in the bedroom. So I've just turned it on here quickly. This will actually work off battery as well. And then we've got plug-ins here. So this could be a great spot to put your coffee maker for the morning. You've got two wonderful stools here. So it truly is a, a breakfast bar. or a great location to just put out some food for guests and family and friends that may be visiting. And they can help themselves. You've got great storage from two sides. So we've got storage here. So you could use maybe one side as more storage for things like boots and shoes. And then you can use the, the other side here as more of a pantry storage area. Perhaps your waste paper basket. So we've got a huge pantry right next to that. So above and below. These will go back about three feet here. So you've got lots of storage. And additionally above our fully electric fridge which offers us a lot more space and again really sets it up more like a cottage we do have some additional storage above there all solid wood doors and then right next to that our rain hood our microwave and we've got our Furion stove with glass top here so we do have a beautiful glass backsplash but you've got a secondary one that's going to be a little bit easier for you to clean so you can just pop this back if you're cooking uh, soup sauce things like that if there's a bit of a spill nice and easy to clean for you so you're not working too hard Again, additional storage up above here, so a great spot to put some plates, things like that. We've got, again, plug-ins up front here, and just look at all the counter space. So just a massive amount of counter space. So if you're someone who enjoys cooking, or perhaps just laying out you know, food for guests and things to nibble on, this just gives you the space to do that. On a bright day like today, you'll appreciate that you do have fabric shades throughout, so you can quickly create some shade. These are all thermofoil waterfall edge countertops, so they're not going to absorb water. There's no tea moldings to come off over time, which you may have experienced with previous older trailers. We've got a beautiful high-rise faucet, so it's nice and quick and easy to fill a pot. Underslung sink here, nice deep 50-50 design with the inserts. So again, you've got full preparation space, and then just look at all the cupboards below here. Just a massive amount of storage, all the drawers next to them. So it's, it's a case where it really is a, a cottage, and it sets up well to just bring everything up, leave it there for the season, and then you've got everything you need. You'll really appreciate on a dark day all the windows here, so you've got the ability to keep an eye on people outside, especially if they're little people as you sit in the slide out area and we've got windows that open on the bottom of the main two windows in the slide but windows all the way around great LED lighting throughout the, the slide outs but also the main areas as well so they're going to create lots of light on a day like today but they're not going to throw off the heat that you don't want we've got a great table and chair option that we uh, brought in on this unit you've got storage here within the table you've got storage in your chairs so a great little feature here that allows you to gain back some of the storage from other designs but gives you that flexibility where you could actually swap the couch and the dinette if you wish you could even bring this table and chair outside onto your deck if you have one as well we've got a trifold sofa bed here so if you're someone that maybe once a year you have a big family uh, gathering you could have another couple quite comfortably here on the sofa uh, that folds out and you're still going to have room here to walk around certainly at nighttime it's wonderful to come in perhaps catch the news perhaps catch a movie We've got a great electric fireplace here, so you don't have to listen to the furnace necessarily all the time. It's going to give you electric heat that you're already paying for, and it's going to do a great job of heating this uh, entertainment area quite well. Now this TV is on a bracket that will allow you to swing it out and come closer to the couch here, so you'll be on a nice angle whether you're watching it from the couch or the dinette. We've got our main speakers here with our Ferion Entertainment System that we mentioned outside right in the middle. That's all Bluetooth as well, so you can stream music to it. You've got a built-in DVD player, you've got USB inputs, um, all the channels you'd want on the radio, so a great little unit that you can control from the outside as well. As we head past our patio door here, right in the center, we've got a great feature on this unit. So if you're a grandparent, if you're someone with a larger family that has lots of folks but prefer, again, a bigger kitchen, this FKTS design is a wonderful unit because you get this extra bedroom right in the middle, but it's very flexible. So these bottom uh, pieces can come out, so you can create a large um, queen bed or individual bunks. You've got another bunk just above that can fold down, or you can leave it up as I have it right now, pull these bottom pieces out, throw them under your back bed. You could have, you name it, a table here for crafts, you could have a table for puzzles, 
You could have uh, a, a desk. We've seen couples that have turned it into an office as well. But it also can be a place where you could have another couple chairs and you could have a, a secondary TV that's quite a bit larger as well. So again, you could have a secondary TV viewing area. With lots of storage below for your guests or media. And you've got a place to hang things here as well. So again, if you have guests, uh, grandkids every once in a while, it's a really great room that doesn't have to be a dedicated bunk room. And that's why uh, many of our couples love it so much. You do have two windows. So you've got an emergency exit window on the bottom, an additional window on top, and they will open for ventilation as well. But you've got ducting throughout the coach, so you're going to be nice and cool when you want to be. Great windows down the hallway, so it really brightens things up naturally. We've got right in the center of the coach, we've got our thermostat, so we can quickly turn on the furnace, turn on the air conditioning. And as we head down, I love the fact that they put the bathroom right across from the secondary door. So this could be your main entrance to the bathroom. People don't have to walk through with dirty feet all the time. You could just simply put a little mat here and they can walk right in. So you don't have to always take off your shoes. But you've got just a massive shower here, 50 inch wide shower, beautiful tub surround with a built-in seat for you. We've got a skylight offering lots of light, all ducted in as well. And then we've got our fan to vent out that humidity on a hot day. And then just wonderful storage for all the extra towels you're naturally gonna bring in, uh, sheets, those kind of things. They'll go back a good three feet bottom and top. And then lots of storage in our vanity as well. So we've got great lower storage, great medicine cabinet above. So a nice big bathroom with lots of elbow room. So again, really feels more like a cottage. And then you have the additional height here in a destination unit versus say a travel trailer. Uh, so you have the extra height to add things like our ceiling fan here that we have running that you can run off 12 volt if you lost power. Switch for that's just on the wall as well as our main switch for our lights. Great queen bed here with lots of storage. You have full storage underneath that bed. We've got storage for, it's a great spot to put things like books um, just above your head there or, or media. We've got a place to put a glass of water, put your book at night, phone, things like that. We've got the ability to open the bottom of the back window here and it creates just a wonderful amount of light here. Uh, but when you don't want that, especially at night or early morning, we've got our fabric shades here to, uh, to bring that light down to where we want it. We've got hookups already in here for television. You can see we can have a massive TV. Uh, we could just leave it on a stand as well. And we've got a great spot here to put lots of clothes, leave things here, hang things up, cloth shirts and extra coats, things like that. So between the storage under the bed and the storage at the foot of the bed, and the amount of space in here, you've got a wonderful bedroom to, again, separate yourself from the rest of the world, separate yourself from perhaps the guests that would be uh, towards the front uh, on a busy weekend up at the lake. We invite you down to Primo Trail Sales to come have a closer look at this stunning 39 FKTS in Coachman's Catalina Destination Series.